Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the second derivative of this function. Let's go ahead and do it. So to find the second derivative of the function, all we have to do is take the derivative two times. So first let's compute the first derivative. So f prime of x is equal to, so we take the 4 and we bring it down, right? We're going to use the chain rule. So we have something to a power. So we do 4 times 5, that's 20. And you leave the inside untouched, so 2 minus 7x. You subtract 1, so you get 3, times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of 2 is 0, and the derivative of negative 7x is negative 7. Again, we use the power rule and the chain rule. So you don't touch the inside. You bring down the 4. 4 times 5 is 20. You leave the inside untouched. And then you multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is negative 7. Let's clean this up. So f prime of x is equal to, so negative 7 times 20 is negative 140. Then we have 2 minus 7x cubed. So that is the first derivative. So now we have to do it again, right? So let's do it. So f double prime of x, and again, the constant just hangs out because it's in front of the function. So we have 3 times negative 140, which is negative uh, 420, I believe. Then we have 2 minus 7x. We subtract 1, so we get 2 times the derivative of the inside function, which is, again, negative 7. All right, I'm going to put this in my calculator. 7 times 420, 2940. Wow, so the second derivative of this function is going to be 2,940, parentheses, 2 minus 7x, parentheses, squared. So that, my friends, is the second derivative. So all you do is compute the derivative twice. I hope this video has been helpful.